Okay, so today we are going to do a pod review on the pepper right there in the back. And that is called the Bell of Golul pepper. So let's bring in a little closer. And she's looking right about good right around now. And it's nice and red and ready to be picked. So let's pick that and give it a taste test. sooner I get these peppers off the plant, the sooner the plant is going to put out more peppers. And that looks like a nice, healthy pepper. The Bell of Golu. That's just a gorgeous looking pepper. Get the light, lighting right here. Set the atmosphere for it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a hot one. I don't remember. I've done... a pod review on this years ago and I don't remember how hot it is I do remember it had some heat on it though and usually peppers like this size that get heat on them is not a good thing because there's a whole lot to eat and I don't know if that's a bug hole I do got insects chewing holes into my pepper so I got to be really careful not that they've been laying maggots or anything in there it's just once they chew a hole in there that's the end of that any possibility of getting seed out of it is over. Once you see that hole, the seeds never develop. It they it ruins it. So your peppers get ruined from the insect, you know, for eating, and it also ruins the seed. So whatever this insect is, I got to find out what it is, and I got to do something about it. But I don't know. It might be a hole right there from an insect. We'll find out because we're going to turn you around, and we are going to do a taste test right now. All right, guys, what's going on? Here we go. We got the Bell of Golul pepper. Don't remember where I got this pepper from. I think I got it from uh, Seed Saver, uh, not Seed Savers. Um, the uh, Pepperlovers.com. I think I got it from them, but they're no longer around anymore. At least I don't think they are. Maybe they're redoing a website or something, but... You can't buy seed from them anymore, and I think this is where I got this pepper from originally. And this is, I've been growing this pepper on and off throughout the years for at least uh, five, six years, somewhere around there. I've been growing this thing for a long time. I really like this pepper, and the only problem I really have with this pepper is if you don't grow it dedicated in full sunlight by itself and keep it away from all the other plants, it's not very productive. This plant really needs to be outside. It doesn't like to grow in partial shade or anything. It does best in direct sunlight. That's the one downfall to this pepper. But it's a great pepper. If you get it in sunlight and you, you grow it in you know without any other plants around it, this thing will be a pretty heavy producer. So just keep that in mind. If you are going to buy seed for this and grow it, you want to kind of dedicate it. Even a smallest amount of shade and this pepper... Uh, we'll only produce a half dozen, maybe eight peppers at best by the end of the year, unless you bring it in. And that always has its drawbacks, too, because once you bring your pepper plants in, the peppers stop developing, getting bigger, basically. They only hit a certain size, and they stay small at, with very little seed. And they take forever to ripen when they're indoors. So, without any further ado, let's give it a go on that bad boy. Oh boy, this thing's got some heat in it, man. I almost puked just now. This acidy type of flavor came out. This pepper's got a strange effect. It's really... This pepper is very unique to itself. Oh, man. It just had this acidy flavor that just wanted to get down into my throat really quick. You know, when you're not ready for it, swallowing, and it kind of goes down there, a lot of bad things can happen. So... It, it kind of was doing that, and I had to fight back to it, it slipping down. I didn't want that to happen. Because if I'm not ready and that happens, uh, and it's too hot, it's too late. That's the way I look at it. And when it's too hot, and it's too late, there's only one option. And that's for it to come back out. And I really don't want to do that while I'm doing these pod reviews. <clears throat> really throws you off for the day. I don't care what anybody tells you. Puking from eating a super hot pepper, or really any pepper, could make you puke if it 
get stuffed down into your you know your your esophagus and you ain't expecting it, you could uke from that so the unique thing about this pepper is that it has like a bell pepper flavor and it's nice bell red bell pepper sweet type flavor but it's hot it has this good amount of heat on this thing and it's really warm so it's a bell it's a bell pepper flavor that's hot and you don't usually find that with large peppers like bell peppers usually bell peppers and the larger peppers are usually sweet and if there are a little bit of heat on them it's very low this thing's got a good amount of heat guys this thing's going to roast you up a little bit i'm going to move up towards the top of the seeds now and try to get a better description on the heat so we can go over the heat but like i say basically as far as the flavor goes it does taste sweet like a red bell pepper type uh sweetness and it's very pleasant but there is a heat that follows it and it's it's very direct it's very acidy like so we'll we'll go over the flavor once more at the end i really want to get the heat because i, I almost choked from it just now not choked but like gagged on it so let's let's uh take another bite Okay, so the interesting thing about this, <clears throat> believe it or not, which is very unusual, the majority of the heat coming off this pepper was at the bottom of the pepper rather than up by the seeds. I just bit two more bites out of it, and there's almost really not much heat, really. With the bottom of the pepper was full of heat. It was very tangy in flavor, and it, it struck pretty quickly, so I knew right away it had heat on it. But the top of the pepper by the seeds, not really much. I mean, there's some heat on it, but not as much as the bottom. Bottom was, that bottom had a good amount of heat on it. It's already coming down, but it's really, the heat's really not concentrated up by the seeds on, on this particular pepper. I kind of find that really weird. Usually the heats are always concentrated by the seeds, not in this one. Take another bite and, uh, that's basically it. It's almost like up towards the top is almost sweet with no heat. And well, I'll take another bite and I'll try to get the heat described. But if I don't get no heat on, I don't know how to describe it. Nice and sweet with a slight apple flavor. Very, very nice. Okay, so as far as the heat goes on it, try to describe this the best way I can. The bottom of the pepper seemed like it had more heat than up by the seeds. I don't know if I remember that from past years, but the bottom of the pepper was definitely a lot hotter than up by the seeds. And that's the first thing. The second thing is, the type of heat that it is, it's like an acidy type of heat. Like you take sulfuric acid and you just drip some sulfuric acid around in your mouth and let it burn you like that. That's that kind of a heat. It's not a rip-roaring furnace type of flame heat it's more of like an acidy burn your flesh off type of a heat but it ain't hot and it's not really that hot if i was to put a scoville on this guesstimating say why scoville wise maybe 2000 something like that it's just it's really low it's not real real low but it's it's pretty low uh the bottom of the pepper again was hotter than the top of the pepper and that was where most of the heat was. That part is the part that I would say would be like 2,000, maybe 2,500. Maybe it, they probably can get as hot as like three or 4,000 on a Scoville. But so far, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't remember it being really that hot. But this one's definitely not that hot. And the type of heat that it is, it's burning the lips. Tiny little tingle on the tongue really not much of a burn in my mouth at all it's really my lips is what's really burning that's really about it a little bit warm it's throughout the mouth area it's kind of warm but it's even and it's very consistent and it's not throbbing it's very it's warm that's the only way i could describe it i really have to like think about it is it burning me or not it's that low it's that low of a heat but the main thing that's really heating up right now is my lips mostly that's mostly where the I'm feeling it is in the lips I'm not really feeling it really anywhere else in my mouth or anything it's all lips don't forget too, guys when I eat these peppers the thing is is I like to eat these peppers too okay 
I don't like to just, every pepper I have to sacrifice to save seeds. I want to enjoy my peppers as well. So a lot of times I'll just chop them up just like I do with any pepper and the seeds go with it. So that's why I'm like, when I do these reviews, I save the seeds to like that one. And then, the, and I can eat at least, you know, a couple of them anyway, the way I want to eat them. And then, um, you know, I have some seeds I can offer you, but that's basically it. That's just, that's your pod review for the, uh, the Bell of Golul pepper. That's a Turkish pepper, by the way. I'll leave whatever information I got on it in the description. You can look it up there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.